ही गाइस प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू नेवर मिस अ वीडियो फ्रॉम पॉप एक्सो फैशन यू नो आई रियलाइज दिस ईयर आर बीटा सेलिब्रिटीज एक्चुअली केप्ट देयर न्यू ईयर सेलिब्रेशंस प्रीटी लो की मोस्ट ऑफ देम वर ट्रैवलिंग एंड द रेस्ट चोस टू सेलिब्रेट इट विद देयर फैमिलीज बट द ओनली टाइम वी सॉ अ सेलिब्रिटीज ऑल डेक्ड अप वाज व्हेन दे वर प्रमोटिंग देयर अपकमिंग मूवी 2019 has some big releases lined up and I'm sure they're all gearing up for it. So today we are looking at some of the trending celebrity looks of the week in this episode of Crush or Crash. Okay, so first on the list is Kangana Ranaut and I think she's um, coming uh, on our show after a long time, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, we are critiquing her look after a very long time. Yeah. Okay. So talking about the look she's wearing head to toe Tom Ford, literally mm. head to toe because the quote said the tweed jacket and the pencil skirt it's from Tom Ford and the thigh high boots as well. So about the look I love the blazer and the skirt as individual pieces or yeah. maybe like put together it works for me. But in all like with the boots and everything it's too much like it looks very tight like everything is like tied up so close together and that uh, belt, belt detail is too chunky it's too chunky i know chunky. it's like too like too much is happening like be it like a simple belt that would have done like that would have looked more chic this is like on a chic look she's trying to be edgy i'll just talk about the outfit how it's not working with me but i agree with vani that if i see the pieces individually they are very nice pieces but they're not style belt if i would have worn it i would have maybe gone for a nice shirt inside like a white shirt with interesting collar and uh, something like thigh high leather brown boots maybe just the safest for me the problem here is uh, everything is too much there is nothing simple about this look hair too clean too much into a bun the eyes too heavy the lips are dark again Yeah. Then comes the shirt, then the tweed jacket, then the huge belt. Then you have your pencil skirt. Then you're wearing the boots with some animal print detail on the. It has a buckle detail. Oh my God, no! It's such a beautiful vintage-looking piece. Yeah. I rather keep it simple and not touch it. Like I swear, something like a chic leather touch to it would have just completed the look. She didn't need to do that. And the usual Kangana curls. Oh, like, dude, you have so your good. hair is your statement. This experiment has failed. miserably overall uh, we both are ah, crashing this look. look next we have sonam kapoor ahuja i don't oh. know i just love saying it <laughs> like this year we've been just adding so names to all the female yeah, celebrities i got a very uh so sonam wore this for her movie ek ladki ko dekha to aisa laga you know it is a song um, it's the adaptation the name is an adaptation yeah, of the song. song ek ladki ki 1942 love story yeah It's uh, Anil Kapoor's movie, by the way. Oh, I didn't know. Vani ki generation ki nahi hai. Aisa kuch bhi. So she bought for the promotion of that movie. Um, she is looking like a complete boss lady for me. It's such a strong look. Anyway, I'm very, very biased towards pantsuits. I like the elements in it. See, it's a normal pantsuit, but what actually works for me in this outfit in this ensemble is the little elements, the crop top with the zebra print. uh and the combat boots it it's adding that very strong and edgy element but it's a very well balanced look because she's gone for the cord which is plain yeah and i like that she's gone for a crop top instead of something full because i think with that kind of fit i needed to see some skin and the best part is the sunny i am totally digging this look and like you said the zebra crop top obviously that's uh, you know adding a more edgy and a yeah. quirky you know touch it to it gives you a break from that brown it's a nice contrast i feel and it's not a typical pants suit you yeah. know like if you'll notice it the this thing the blazer has a lot of pockets and even the silhouette the, of the, the length if you see yeah and the silhouette of the pants is also sort of different from what we usually see and obviously because it's sonam kapoor <laughs> and something like this is expected out of her and she is owning it she looks fabulous the attitude is correct the outfit is correct the hair is correct the makeup is correct mm. so all in all like i am totally digging this it's look it's like vani just made a report card yeah, like your child has done an excellent job <laughs> it looks stunning everything's on point and we are totally crushing yes. it okay next we have uh, anushka sharma Oh my god she looks so beautiful and uh, she is wearing this beautiful gown by Gauri and Nenika which has a uh, one sleeve detail with feathers on it and it's a wrap around dress um i don't know from where to start 
I I'm just not. Okay, I'll give it to she you. She looks like a princess. It's such a red carpet look, and I'm sorry, I'm like dying right <laughs> now. After a very long time, I have liked something that has been like something from Gauri Nenika label. So talking about the outfit, she wore this one shoulder. Feather detail dress, and um, you know the whole wrap detail and the feathers and like, all the small details, and like it's a monochrome outfit. And the fact that she's carrying it like she owns it, that's very important because like when you wear something monochromatic, it's not very easy to you know when you style it hmm. or when you wear it, it's not very easy to like you know look good in it because somewhere like you know here they got the skin tone right because it sort of works with the skin tone and the makeup is kept sort of light it's very dewy and the hair is kept you know swept back so that the shoulder details show yeah so all in all i am loving this look for me this look is just insane like it's so beautiful forget about just liking or crushing it i'm like 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 i can't stop like i can go on saying like how much i crush white is one color that makes you stand out so imagine if you wear something weird something that does not work yeah, right or true. not style well you will still stand out now the point is for the good reasons or the bad ones here it's for all the right reasons it's excellent it's here. excellent and for me i'm not a big uh, i'm not a big fan of feathers Still, the feathers are not overpowering it. I think the idea was to keep her hair and makeup so soft and minimal that these details will stand out and still will look extremely soft. If you see, the the outfit actually has a lot of details, yeah. but it still doesn't look too heavy on your eyes. It's a very light, pleasant, and a beautiful look. And Anushka, we're crushing it. I'm crushing it. So we have Yami Gautam, and this is her promoting her movie Uri that she's done with Vicky Kaushal. Okay, special love for Vicky Kaushal. He's like my new favorite after Ranveer Kapoor. She's wearing an ivory color pantsuit. Uh, it's a double-breasted pantsuit with a cinch on the waist, and um, she's wearing it with white strappy sandals. And she's kept her hair nice. I like the whole uh, casual. It's a very old Hollywood kind of look. Yeah, now. I like the hair. You know, generally people tend to go really clean with their pantsuits. And she's kept her hair a little messy with that side uh, side partition, and makeup's very natural for a day look. Yeah. Um, I won't say it's a great look, but it's a nice look. Like I have no problems with it. Maybe just that belt. That that thing is slightly too long. I feel. Don't you think? Yeah, I know. I agree with that. We can't point out anything specific. Yeah. Because everything looks nice, and That's like true. she's beautiful, and you know she's got a good body, and the whole pantsuit looks amazing on her. The color suits her. The hair makeup is on point. The heels are fine for a day look. Yeah. Which I think it is for a day look and a movie promotion. I think it's pretty appropriate, and she's looking stunning. So touching her. She is. Okay, so next we have Sara Ali Khan, and she's wearing this uh, knitted blue dress by Peter Piloto, and this is for the promotion of Simba. Simba, by the way. Simba, yeah. And uh, the fringe detail, I'm not able to sort of ignore that pathetic, pathetic fringe detail, and like the designer needs to understand that when you cut a knitted fabric, it curls up. It doesn't stay straight or like ironed like a woven fabric. So I don't know what he was thinking while designing or you know while cutting the pattern of this dress, and it looks hideous. First of all, the color—it's a very tacky blue. It's not a good blue, and the fact that she's wearing the same color pumps is just making it worse. Uh, I know I'm being very harsh, but uh, it is what it is, guys. Yeah. <laughs> On the other hand, uh, I like the hair and the makeup. It's very nude with pink lips and you know her normal beachy Beach, waves. Yeah. So I mean. No, yeah, that's good, but I'm, um, mm. okay. I'm not. I wouldn't say that the color is that bad. In my opinion, it's okay, but definitely the fringe detail. Even I can't ignore it. And imagine you have it. Niche to hai, you have it in your sleeves also. Yeah. That too is a little too much. I mean, that was shade ke baari lag rahe mujhe. So it's not like how would she function with so much fringe happening everywhere? Yeah. So I wish the apart from the fringe detail, it's a nice look. And definitely never go with the blue on blue. Why would you wear the same footwear? It's just so weird. Nothing much to talk about it. The makeup and hair is nice, but the rest of the look is blue, and it's actually quite bad. So crash okay. it. So next we have Sanak. She's Sana, and she's wearing a very weird leather dress and these um, <laughs> boots. 
from truffle collection um, are those like clear boots clear boots of course uh, with the combats the clear combat kind mm. i do not understand <laughs> i don't want to understand guys i mean it's very obvious that it's not a flattering fit i mean she's posing and i can see so many wrinkles then the zips are weird and i have biggest problem with the zip in the mid like the bottom zip it's in a very weird place Don't you think it's very weird? The whole zip detail is very weird. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's why weird. do you have a zip going around here and here? Like, you could get hurt. You could get hurt. No, I'm in all the that. wrong places. The makeup looks stunning, and so does she. But the top knot, okay, it's a very ninja Abdu. It looks like she's just gotten like, out of a shower, and she just needs a bathrobe on top. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. Everything is just very like I don't know. Mismatched. Know, yeah, it's not going together. Just, Working together, every element on its own is so off in a mismatch. Yeah. Clear boots are looking so weird. I don't know why. When you are wearing something so short, you have to go something solid, right? Yeah. My problem is, it is supposed to be a body hugging outfit, right? You can, you can tell it's a fitted piece. Yeah, that is. But the moment she literally posed, whatever she tried to move her leg, I can see so many creases. It's all wrinkled up. So that means the moment you move. Your leather is getting all gathered in the wrong areas, which is looking so tacky. Mm. It's not looking nice. It's not good to see. So, and also the zip details are—it's too much. Too much. Oh, how much zip it? So, yeah, I mean, crashing the nerves. Look. This time, my favorite was undoubtedly Sonam Kapoor. What about yours? Mine was Anushka Sharma. I think everybody knows that woman stole the show. Let us know who was your favorite in the comment section below. And while you do that, go check out the Popix the shop. We've got some really cool stuff like sweatshirts, notebooks, wall clocks, tote bags and a lot more. Click on the link in the description box below and enjoy shopping. And for more fashion tips and tricks and user celebrity looks, keep watching Popix the fashion. Yeah.